Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. Uh, today I was checking my alternator uh, system because I'm having a, an issue where the batteries are uh, draining on my uh, military pickup here. And one of the things that you can do this a number of ways, and, and I'm not going to do it while I'm filming, but it's easy enough to explain because I already did it. And the batteries, I guess for like a, you charge them up and then, you know, you could drive it for a couple days or whatever. And then all of a sudden it stops starting. Batteries are totally dead. So I called John from Hillbilly Wizard. And, you know, as always, he's extremely helpful. If you own one of these things, you should know him in Pennsylvania. So... Uh, he told me how to check the alternators and I had them checked by the auto parts store and supposedly they were good but they did the the wrong procedure to check them so there's a number of ways to do it and the first indication that you might have a problem is when you turn your key on you should see both the gen lights go on and you see right there only one is going on right so that's indication number one that you have something wrong in your charging system. It's not a tell-all, but it is something uh, that will tell you that your, your uh, system is not working properly. And actually, if one of those lights are removed, uh, it requires a closed circuit for the charging system to work. So even if your light goes bad and you remove it, uh, and you don't replace it, your system is not going to charge, which was an interesting fact that I thought. So basically, the second way you can test is you take a multimeter and put it from the frontmost battery right here, the negative, to the rearmost battery positive, right? And when the car, when the, when the vehicle is off, you should have uh, approximately 24 volts. When it's on, you should have 28. And if it's 28, you know, you can just stop right there and say, good to go. You know, you don't even need to test the alternators. Well, mine was 26.8. And that, again, is an indication, but it doesn't actually give me a definitive answer if the alternator uh, was bad. So next you need to test both your individual alternators with the truck running. So the first one on the, on the driver's side, you would test your multimeter. You put your positive there and then you see the ground uh, right there's your ground, right? It's, it's uh, let me get my finger in there. Uh, let me get a better a better view here. So this is your ground right here. And you see the wire that's coming from it. You put your negative there to test that, right? So you should get anywhere between 13.5 and, and 14.5 and or so voltage. Uh, I was getting 14.8 and that's fine. Then the next thing, you want to test your passenger side. And that's a little bit tricky. That's why I can't do this while I'm uh, trying to film here. And again, this is all with the truck running. So I kind of had to like get up in there and kneel and go forward and, uh, you know, lean forward. And what you want to do is you put your negative on this big red terminal here which was the positive for the other for this side right if you're do, doing just this side it's the negative uh, when you're testing the passenger and then you see over here this big red thick line right there you want to go right at the terminal and put your positive there so that also should be between 13 and a half and 14 and a half Mine was 12.1. So that's how you can tell that uh, that passenger side alternator 
is not charging properly. So basically, uh, I just ordered another alternator from Hillbilly Wizard. Uh, it's $198, and again, you want to make sure you get the isolated ground military. And I see them on eBay, they're, they're cheap on eBay, they're like $98 or so, but you got to keep in mind that uh, the components used in a lot of them, and I'm not saying the ones on eBay are bad, but if you don't get it from a trusted source, the components in the ones that you might get uh, are not going to be of top quality. So, you know, I've been dealing with Hillbilly Wizard for years, John over there, and, uh, you know, he's he's done me right uh, on a number of big projects, right? He doesn't overcharge, he doesn't overcharge shipping. So I highly recommend that you uh, go through him from that. And he actually has experts that build, rebuild these things. I thought about doing it myself, uh, but I've never done it before. I think I could, but uh, just don't want to spend the time doing that. I got a lot of other things going on and, and uh, you know, it's starting to get a little cool here in Vermont. So I want to get some other projects done so I can easily swap out an alternator. Uh, but... I don't want to spend the time to rebuild it actually. I'll just drop this off to Hillbilly Wizard to get rebuilt in the future when I go there or maybe I'll ship it there. In any event, uh hope I explained it properly. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the in the uh comments section. I'll probably have to use this as a reference if something goes wrong again or if something goes wrong in my blazer. But hopefully you get an idea on how to test your your alternator system the the proper way. All right, as always, uh, keep prepping, like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate it. I'm nearing that magical thousand uh, subscriber number where I could start making a little change from from my uh, videos. Uh, I appreciate the support, and as always. Uh, Keep prepping. Vermont Prepper out.